What's going on everybody? Brian here from Brian's Aquariums. Today is January 1st, 2018 and I just want to take a quick second here to wish you guys a happy new year and uh, I hope all the partying was fun and everybody is safe. Nobody got DWI to start off the year. Um, you know, wish your family, your friends and you, you know, great success for this year and uh, Let's make 2018 better than all the rest. So what you're looking at here is my 85 gallon rimless aquarium tank. It is approximately 48 inches by 24 inches by 17 high. And I acquired this tank from a friend, a local friend in Fort Worth back in July of 2017 started working on it in August and it kind of set for a couple months untouched just kind of collecting gear and figuring out what I really want to do with it uh, for you know for a couple months and uh, so I finally started getting gear getting it really set up and you know ready to put fish coral rocks sand and all that good stuff on it um, but yeah, this is the tank. This is its formal introduction. Uh, let's take a closer look at some of the corals that are in there. This tank is going to be SPS dominated. I'm trying to keep as most SPS in here as I can. For the past nine months, I've successfully kept all kinds of acro, digitatas, millies, stylos, you know, montes, and uh, stuff is actually starting to really grow. And now I'm just focusing on dosing nitrates to color this tank up. Right now the nitrates are at zero and they've stayed zero for you know for the life of this tank and the previous tank that all these corals were in. The tank is one month and five days old but the rock is roughly nine months old right now and the sand that was in here is dry sand so it's you know one month and five days old to kickstart this tank I added two bottles of Fritz Zyme 9 just to kinda give the bacteria a quick boost I'm gonna do a few close-ups of some of these corals here that you may or may not recognize just depending on you know the light here it's a uh, it's T5 lighting I've got six bulbs they're all ATIs 
and it, it kind of changes the the color of the coral as you know you know um, compared to LED the stock list here are two clownfish which is what you see right there I have a yellow tank that just swam by you can see the fox face it's a uh, one spot fox face hiding under his uh, area there the yellow tang and fox face I thought they were going to uh, fight you know once I introduce each other you know to themselves and uh, they've actually made a pretty nice pair uh, it, it's almost like they're a pair of themselves they don't leave each other's side and once one find, finds food and starts eating in a place you know the other one's just tagging along right next to it finding food and eating with it I've got these fish roughly, I want to say about three or four months ago. Had them in QT for a couple months. Uh, if you look to the left there, my six line ras just went behind some rocks, and up top there by one of the pumps is my blue damselfish. It's a uh, sapphire damsel or a spring airy. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's actually my first fish. <laughs> then I've got the six line wrasse was my second fish, and the two clownfish were my third fish that are pairs. And uh, I don't know if they have a nest under there, or if they're cleaning off to prepare for a nest, but I do know there's, there's quite a few uh, air pockets under there. So they may just be enjoying the air or the oxygen. Uh, you can see some whiskers in the back there, right under my return. Uh, that's a cleaner shrimp. And let me scroll all the way over to the left here. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. May not be able to see it, but there's some more whiskers there and that's a blood shrimp under you can see that where that big snail is that trochus snail right under that there's a set of whiskers and that's my blood shrimp this tank is being run by two mp40s or actually that's an mp20 and the back there is a aquion pump and on the right hand side is an MP40. I've got another MP40 but I was trying to hide all the wires under this canopy and I took the controller apart and whenever I stuck the board in between the uh, the stand because it was just about half an inch big I think I bent the uh, off button on my MP40 quiet drive and every time I plug it in and try to turn it on it just immediately cuts off like it's broke or something. I, I'm not sure exactly what, what the deal is. And as I suspected, the clownfish are enjoying some of this free oxygen or air that is under this rock here. A few days ago I had a drip line that somehow created a siphon and the water pretty much overflowed into a five gallon bucket and onto the floor and my return pump didn't have enough water to you know properly function so it made a whole bunch of bubbles and this is what's left. And these clownfish are really enjoying that stuff, it looks like. Maybe they're just trying to get rid of it because they're kind of annoyed from it, or maybe they just want to make a nest. You never know. Alright, guys. Last, but definitely not least. We have reached the sump area. 
Starting from the top left, you can see the JBO DP4 dosing pump. And I'm running Triton method in here, which these containers are actually leaking. I'm waiting for a replacement from Bulk Reef Supply. It's been about two weeks so far, and the Triton Core 7 elements are still out of stock. Uh, in the first chamber to the left there, you will see a Reef Octopus 110 skimmer without the skimmer cup because I'm actually cleaning that right now. Behind it to the left, you'll see a Bulk Reef Supply media reactor. I'm currently running two cups of Rowafoss on there. Been running that for about 20 days now and my uh, phosphates have you know stayed steady at 0 0.08 which I'm pretty happy with right now with uh, the tank being so new the sand being dry and how much I'm feeding uh, the next chamber there is where all the macro algae is I've got chato I've got dragon's breath and I've got Red Graciela. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce that, but it's a. Uh, I got three macro algaes in there. The first small overflow little chamber, I guess you can say, on the right side, I've got Marine Pure Spears in there, along with a filter floss on the bottom just to catch any kind of stray macro algae that might try to get past there and it definitely has tried so far and the right section there you really can't tell because it's kind of dark but I've got a uh, JBO DCP 5000 pump running my return pump and I've also got a MaxiJet 1200 running my algae turf scrubber. And also to the left, I mean to the right, you may see a orange RO tube on the right hand bottom side area. That's a, that's my Neptune ATK sensor. Above that, you see that black contraption that's my 302 Aquatics Turf Algae Scrubber. The model is AS-04. And I believe it's rated for a 75 or a 100 gallon aquarium. And once again, this is an 85 gallon aquarium. The sump is 50 gallons. And I keep roughly about 25 gallons in this sump at all times. On the back wall there, you can see I have the Apex Junior, I have the PM1 module, the PM2 module, as well as an EB8. I got one plug left for the EB8, and this tank is pretty much fully automated. Up at the top in the center, let's see if I can move this camera real quick. You can see I got the Kessel H380 horticulture light, which I'm using as a fuge light. All because I seen that video by Bulk Resupply of them growing Shado with this insanely amazing light. And I've got a uh, little $25 kit of the LED strips there. You can power it by remote, but I got it hooked up to a smart plug, a Wi-Fi plug, and I can control it by my voice just through Google, or I can actually open up an app and control it from, you know, here or anywhere else in the world to turn the light on. So 
to the right, kind of stuffed down in the corner, the outside of the sump. I've actually got my MP20, my MP40, and my JBO return pump controllers all just kind of laying there for right now. I need to mount those to, you know, the right side of the cabinet just to the right of the turf scrubber but one of these days I'll get to it as you can see my sump has the Texas state inscribed on it on the inside the sump was made by Lone Star Reef roughly about a year ago and I'm just now getting to use it so super stoked about that But other than that, you know, that's pretty much it. That's the system. Pretty simple setup and uh, really simple to run. The Triton method is almost, you know, self sustained. The only thing you really have to do is, you know, watch your levels, send in tests, and, you know, I do tests weekly and check my alkalinity about three or four times a week just to make sure everything's on par but other than that there's no water changes I just clean up you know the tank really good you know a couple times a week clean the sump pretty good about once a month and that's pretty much it the no water changes is definitely such a godsend I mean it's it's so incredible of, you know how much time you have left of you know not having to haggle with putting salt in a container waiting and you know if you're adding salt to you know five gallon containers and just doing water changes with five gallon buckets is is definitely a pain but if you have a 55 gallon barrel or a, you know a brute trash can it makes things a little easier but no water changes is so much easier so that'll do it for now guys thank you for watching I want you guys to have a happy and safe new year. Don't do anything stupid. I know you won't. Uh, don't forget to like this video at any time. You know, if you like this, subscribe to my Patreon. You get to see behind the scenes videos, posts, you know, stuff that nobody else gets to see on any social media platform that I post on. Check out some of my playlists. And thank you guys for watching.